Hello students, I am Malesh, Zoology faculty in SRDZ PU college. Today I am going to start new chapter, ecosystem. The first question on this chapter is, the functional unit of nature is called option A, community, B, ecosystem, C, population, D, succession. First time, Tansley in 1935. Coined the term ecosystem. To recognize the interactions of the biotic biotic communities and its physical environment as a fundamental unit of ecology or nature. Therefore, in the given options B, that is ecosystem is the right answer. Move to next question. Physical structure that is characteristic for each type of ecosystem is formed due to the option A, interaction of biotic and abiotic components. B, vertical distribution of different species. C, stratification. D, both B and C. Living organisms cannot live isolated from their non-living environment because the non-living environment provides materials and energy for the survival of the living organisms. An ecosystem is defined as natural functional ecological unit comprising of living organisms. Living organisms are nothing but biotic biotic community and their non-living non-living is nothing but abiotic or physico chemical physico chemical environment that interact to form a stable self supporting system for example, a pond, lake, desert, grasslands, forest, etc. are common examples of ecosystem. Therefore, physical structure that is characteristic of each type of ecosystem that is formed due to the interaction of biotic and abiotic components that is A, option A that is interaction of biotic and abiotic components is the right answer. Motor, next question. The autotrophic components of the pond system includes option A, phytoplanktons, B, some algae, C, floating, submerged and marginal plants found at the edges, D, all of the above. A pond is a Lentic ecosystem. Lentic ecosystem. Lentic means a standing. The autotrophic components of the pond ecosystem includes phytoplanktons. Phytoplanktons are nothing but they are microscopic autotrophs which fix solar energy. For example, Spirogyra, then Walvox, then Idogonum. These are the phytoplanktons. Some algae like Chlorophyta and Charophyta Floating submerged and marginal plants found at the edges like Hydrilla and Utricularia Utricularia Based on these points in the given options, D, 
that is the all of the above is the right answer lentic ecosystem occurs in option a rain water b running water c standing water d none of the above the term lentic meaning to make calm to make calm it is used for still waters of lakes and ponds light penetrates only to a certain depth depending upon the turbidity okay the penetration of light is mainly depends on its turbidity temperature varies seasonally and with depth means the depth because only a small portion is in direct contact with atmosphere and because decomposition takes place actively at the bottom here the more the decomposition process takes place at the bottom the oxygen content of lentic ecosystem is relatively low when compared to the lotic therefore in the given option c that is standing water is the right answer motor next question an ecosystem contains a producer b consumers c decomposers d all of the above the main components of ecosystem components of ecosystem are classified into two groups first one is called abiotic components and second one is called biotic components here abiotic components are again classified into two categories the first one is physical and the second one is called as the organic the physical components like temperature humidity light atmospheric pressure whereas the organic substances or components are the proteins carbohydrates lipids but the biotic components are again classified into three categories the first one is called that is producer second one is consumer then decomposers for example producers are nothing but green plants consumers are nothing but animals decomposers are nothing but fungi and bacteria these are the components of an ecosystem therefore in the given options d all of the above is the right answer move to next question the breakdown of complex organic matter into inorganic substances like carbon dioxide water and nutrients is called option a fragmentation b catabolism c metabolism d decomposition decomposition it is the breakdown of complex breakdown of complex organic matter into inorganic inorganic substances like 
carbon dioxide then water then nutrients and this process is called means the conversion of the or breakdown of complex organic matter into inorganic substances like carbon dioxide water nutrients this process is called decomposition then the process of decomposition it mainly includes the few steps like fragmentation fragmentation then second one is called as the leaching then third one is called as the catabolism next fourth one is called as the humification next fifth one is called as the mineralization these are the steps involved in the process of decomposition therefore in the given option d that is decomposition is the right answer food chain is option a number of human beings forming a chain for food b animals near a source of food c transfer of food energy from producers to consumers d none of the above a food chain is a linear network of links in a food web starting from producer organisms such as a grasses or trees and ending at the apex the predator 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 species or organisms or animals and detritivores like earthworms detritivores is nothing but or the example is earthworm or it is also called as decomposer species such as fungi decomposers are fungi and bacteria a food chain shows how the organisms are related with each other by the food they eat each level of food chain represents different trophic levels natural interconnections between food chains make it a food web food chains were first introduced by the african arab scientist al zohiz zohiz in the 9th century therefore the in the given options c the transfer of food energy takes place from producers to consumers move to next question 10% law of energy transfer in food chain was given by option a elton b skimper c heikel d lindemann 10% energy transfer law in the food chain is put forth by lendeman a pyramid of energy pyramid of it is a pyramid structure the transfer of energy takes place from these are the trophic levels okay takes place from one trophic level to the another trophic level according to the 10% law 90% of the energy captured from the previous trophic level that is lost as heat to the environment and only 10% is made available to the next trophic level during the transformation the heat is liberated energy flow is from environment or environmental sunlight to the producers these are the first traffic levels in the producers then the second level is the consumers 
consumers are again classified into or grouped into primary, secondary, tertiary, then quaternary and so on. Therefore, in the given options, D, that is Lindemann is the right answer. Move to next question. Detritus food chain begins with option A, primary producers B, primary consumers C, secondary consumers D, dead organic matter. In detritus food chain, primary source of energy is dead organic matter. That is called as a detritus, which are fallen leaves, plant parts or dead animals' bodies. Primary consumers are detrivores, including protozoans, then bacteria and fungi, which feed upon the detritus saprophytically. Detrivores are in turn eaten by secondary consumers such as insect larvae and nematodes. Nematodes. Detritus food chains are generally shorter than grazing food chains. In nature, detritus food chains are indispensable as the dead organic matter or grazing food chain is acting upon the detrivores detrivores to recycle therefore even the given options d that is dead organic matter is the right answer motor next question green plants constitute option a first traffic level b second traffic level c third traffic level d fourth traffic level the first traffic level of the food chain is always occupied by green plants first traffic level okay which are termed to be or which are called as the producers producers because they can produce their own food material by the process of the photosynthesis this is because producers absorb sunlight or during the process of the photosynthesis producers absorb sunlight abiotic factors and fix them into the food chain. This energy is transformed into organisms in other trophic levels of the food chain. Food chains describe the, the feeding relationship between the organisms of an ecosystem. The successive levels in the food chains of communities are called trophic levels. Various trophic levels in a food chain includes producers, primary consumers, first one is producers, primary consumers, then secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Therefore, in the given option A, first trophic level, that is the right answer. Move to next question. An inverted pyramid of biomass can be found in which ecosystem? Option A, forest, B, marine, C, grassland, D, tundra. The amount of living organic matter is called biomass. Okay. The pyramid of biomass is graphical representation of biomass present sequence sequence wise per unit area per unit area of different traffic levels with producers at the base base that is producers 
एंड टॉप कॉर्निवर्स केप्ट एट दे टिप दीज आर दे प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स देन सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स देन टर्शरी कंज्यूमर्स दे आर नथिंग बट कॉर्नी ओर्स लाइक टाइगर लायन चीता एक्सेट्रा द पिरामिड ऑफ बायोमास इन ओशियन दैट इज इनवर्टेड इन नेचर दैट इज लाइक दिस because food chain in ocean that is phytoplankton zooplankton and predatory fishes these are the phytoplankton then second one is zooplankton predatory fishes the biomass of zooplankton is greater than the phytoplankton the that is the producers because their small size and low weight means phytoplankton have smaller in size and have low body weight the predatory fish is very much larger than zooplankton fishes are larger in size as compared to the zooplankton the producer in oceans or aquatic ecosystem producers are phytoplankton have short life span and turn over and have low mass than zooplankton the biomass of trophic level is depends upon the longevity of the members longevity means the life span or the life duration therefore in the given option b that is the marine is the right answer p a r stands for option a photosynthetically adaptable radiation b photosynthetically accessible radiation c photosynthetic activity radiometry d photosynthetically active radiation except for the deep sea deep sea hydrothermal ecosystem sun is the source of energy for all ecosystems on earth photosynthetically active radiation photo synthetically active radiation that is p a r is the amount of light available for photosynthesis which is light in the 400 to 700 400 to 700 nanometer wavelength range par changes seasonally and varies depends upon the latitude and time of day photosynthetically active radiation is measured in terms of milli moles of light energy per square meter plants capture only 2 to 10 percent of the par means photosynthetically active radiation therefore in the given option d photosynthetically active radiation is the right answer move to next question okay students it is the time to end this episode i think you have understood about this chapter at the end of every episode we will ask a question to the students the students question is the one dash horned rhinoceros is specific to which of the following sanctuary option a bitar kanika 
बे बंडेपुर से काजेरंग ऑप्शन डे कॉर्बेट पार्क प्लीज सेंड यूर एस एम एस टू ट्रिपल एट डबल फोर एट सिक्स नाइन वन फाइव इन द फॉर्मेट एस आर डी जे हाइफन जेड वो हाइफन सेकेंड पी ओ फोर्टीन टाइप यूर आंसर ए आर बी आर सी आर डी द फर्स्ट थ्री करेक्ट एस एम एस सेंडर्स विल गेट ए गिफ्ट फ्रॉम एस आर डी जे पी ओ कॉलेज ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन ए नेक्स्ट एपिसोड वी विल मीट विथ ए न्यू चैप्टर टिल दैट टाइम हैव ए नाइस डे Daini Residential School KR Nagar Harihar Admissions open from nursery to 10th CBSE syllabus Shrimati Radha Bai D Gopal Rao PU College Admissions open for PUC Science and Commerce and Vidya Daini Degree College Admissions open for BCom and BA Contact today 9448115118